Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4 and we are here in Sanctuary and uh, well we've gotten back with some power armor and it's a new dawn here and basically in this episode I'm gonna be going around Sanctuary because I haven't, I, I realized I never looted all of these buildings here and I never really went through things but first things first the FOV, I finally figured out how to get it to work. You can see that 8595, you gotta enter two numbers because what I, I was sort of worried about before is I was looking at this and I tried to change the FOV. Let's say I wanted to change it to 90 and it looks like everything changes to 90 but when I get out of console commands it, it's sort of a... It, it's the, the scene, what you're looking at, doesn't actually change. You can see here if I change the FOV 100 it looks like it changes, but then it snaps back. Uh, so I found out that the first number controls the FOV of the interface. You can see now the Pip Boy is really far away. So I found my favorite to be about FOV 85 for the interface and a second number of 95 for looking around. So the Pip Boy looks this big and looking around looks this big. And I think before the FOV for looking around was maybe, I don't know, was the default 60? Because it looked, it wasn't 60, it was, it was better than 60. But it was still a little close for me. I think it was maybe 75. Yeah, I think it was something like this before. But I've, uh, I found my favorite to be 85, 95. So the interface is still a little bit bigger than everything else. All right, so now we're here. seen one of those suckers before? Oh, and sure. let me see here. Can I actually? One time, I killed a death claw all by myself. Okay, no they're power. they're they're chatting a lot, aren't they? <laughs> um, maybe I'll I'll, I'll let Mama, them chat for now. But fancy minigun. We got this. Uh, it's it's so hard to focus when they're talking. You're telling me you killed a death claw with. Okay, temporarily, I'm gonna drop the the voice volume. It's slightly higher than master. I'm dropping it. Okay, because I want to look at uh, this, this power armor modification. Seems like we can do some repairing and stuff like that as well, which looks pretty nice. Um, I guess we should just repair everything. Does it cost? How much does it cost to repair? Broken items cannot be equipped until they have been repaired. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. T. It takes steel to repair this stuff? Okay. So... It shows the health on the left there. More steel. Okay, we got plenty of steel, I think. Gas canister, steel, steel. Yep, okay. This requires steel. This requires steel and... Steel and circuitry. You lack the requirements to repair this item. Okay, that's fine. So the torso is still a little damaged. That's fine, let's, uh, let's exit. So we fixed up our our power armor. Oh, I didn't check if we could actually do any mods. Uh, what what mods are there actually? Like for example, here can we modify this? No material mod. No. So we got a uh, model A. Okay. Material mod. Military paint. Vault tech paint. Interesting. Okay, so we've got that set up. Now I also wanted to to sort of uh oh I'm I'm can I'm overloaded here. I think with too much junk maybe. I'm gonna walk over to this station here. Uh, let's transfer stuff. Can I store all junk? What's weighing me down? I just have a lot of stuff, huh? Do I have... I actually don't have junk. I have a lot of weapons and armor and stuff. Um, dog meat, where are you? Come here, dog meat. Uh, I don't want to stand. I want to... Where are you going? No, come here. Dog meat, come here. Hello. Uh, yes, uh, dog meat can actually... Uh, hold things, so I'm just gonna give you a bunch of stuff to hold. A 10 millimeter standard grip. Oh, that's the thing I, I took out. Okay, you hold this, hold the cram, you can hold that. 
eyeglasses. I think I'm, oh, I must have taken those off with my new helmet. Flannel shirt and jeans. Uh, oh, gas mask with goggles is better, I think. Gord harness. Take one of those. Knuckles, take those. Leather chest piece. I like how it shows the, the damage resistance here, so we can actually see whether it's uh, better or not. You can hold that. Long Johns. Militia hat. Hold the minigun. And that should pretty much do it. Mole rat meat. Hold those. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, so then we've got the crafting thing, which I think we bring up with... Um, I think we hold down V? There we go. Okay, and we can actually just scrap all the, the stuff here. Now, this interface is a little awkward. It's a Bethesda game, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, using the mouse is a little awkward at times, but I do want to clean up this this area here. I'm just gonna clean up all of this stuff. Uh, floor jack, do we need that? I don't think so. Let's get rid of that. And then there's this ruined house, steel eight. Can we scrap this whole thing? Oh, nice. Okay, let's clear this out. Uh, if we can clear out these these ruined houses. It'll make the it'll make it the place easier to organize. And oh, Codsworth is here. Hi. Right. Um, a street lamp, fuse broken. Out. We get a lot of stuff from all this. Mailbox stand, maple log. Let's scrap this. It's in the way. And this old stump. Yeah. These maple branches. It's really foggy, huh? Is it usually this foggy? Oh, here's another ruined house. Let's uh, get rid of this. And what's this green fog here? Oh, this is um, this is not a green fog. I think in a previous episode we actually uh, oh, I looked at this green fog and I thought, what's that green mist in the distance? But uh, it's actually the the range at which we can um, scrap things. And looks like this is a storm, a sandstorm maybe, I guess. Well, I hope it's it's okay. Uh, we can scrap all this stuff. Uh, these old cars, I'm not sure if I want to leave them around for now. Now, it keeps telling me to build something that requires power. I'm not sure... Wow, look at... What is that noise? It sounds like an... An alien or something is, is coming down to abduct us. But... I'm going to guess that we're... We're gonna be okay here. Wow, it's actually a storm. Whoa, okay, um... Hopefully it will pass. But, wow, we can scrap entire trees. Huh, okay. Um, well, we've sort of cleaned up the immediate area here. What's this, a tricycle? Okay, so now that we've done some scrapping, it keeps saying build something that requires power. Wow, we're actually getting radiation damage from this storm. Um, is it possible to... Wow, we're actually getting rads. Is it possible to wait this out? Um, no, I don't want to store this. How do I exit? We're taking radiation damage from the storm. Let's, let's wait a couple hours and see if it passes. Okay, it passed in an hour. Okay, that's better. <laughs> nice sunny day to work with. Oh, much better. Um, does it show how much status? Does it show our rads? I'm not sure where it shows our rads. Oh, uh, right. Increased radiation lowers your maximum health. The HP bar has a bit of a red tick on the end. Alright, so. Now, uh, I wanted to loot these houses. So let's go through the houses and see if we can find anything interesting. Um, Grognak the Barbarian. You've collected an issue of Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% plus damage. So this is kind of like reading magazines to improve your skills, but instead of skills, it's... 
permanent buffs, I think. We'll take it, anyway. So this is my house, just starting here. Um, I should actually stay in this mode and scrap anything that we really should be scrapping. I'm not sure if I should scrap stuff. Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep scrapping separate. Trifold American flag. Mr. Handy Fuel, maybe Codsworth would like that. Here's the toy car baby rattle. I'll leave those here. Here's the crib, Sean's crib. Is he supposed to say something there? Oh, I've turned down voices, of course. He said, I'm coming, buddy. Let's bring the voice volume back up here. All right. Last radius board game. I don't think there's anything to loot in my house. Let's keep going. There's a row of houses here. We could check them all. That's a fallen down house. We'll scrap At that. It's not raining. <laughs> it was raining a minute ago. All right. Let's see what there is here. Cap stash. 23 bottle caps. Nice. Anything in the fridge? No. Oh, and while I'm sorting things out, let's... Uh, I'm now using a different gun because I'm a little short on this. Let's unfavorite this. And I'm going to... What's my current the gun I'm using? The pipe auto pistol, correct? I'll use this one. Set that to four. Okay. Anything to... L Ooh, sequin dress. I'll take that. Doesn't seem to be anything to loot in this house. Let's move on to the next one. Dog meat, move. Alright, let's see if there's anything in... Oh, there is, um... Let's shoot that. Very nice. Second one there. Used oil can. Ah, Nuka Cherry. Yum yum deviled eggs. Okay, so there's still a couple critters walking around. Stimpack purified water. Suitcase. Ah, it's locked. Our first lock picking. All right, move the mouse, adjust the bobby pin. Use A to turn the screwdriver. Uh, is this the same as Skyrim? Oh, A or D works, okay. There we go. Yes. Yes, he says. Casual outfit and a bobby pin, very nice. And doesn't seem to be anything else in this house. All right. Let's check this next one. Let's scrap this house while we're at it. There we go. Just clear all this out. There we go. Now we checked that house last, so let's check in this house. Kitchen scale. Ooh, bobby pins. A glass pitcher. I'll just, I don't know, everything is valuable, so. Ooh, some drugs there. Medex. Uh, ceramic bowl. Alright, there's a computer here, and a safe and... What's that? A makeshift bomb? Okay, um, I should probably check the, the terminal first. Um, Alright. Password required. Okay, some basic hacking here. Four letters, four attempts. Alright. Uh, well, you gotta start with any random word. Wire. Likeness zero, so nothing that matches wire. How about shot? Got it. Got it. Fantastic. We're in the business of happiness, it says. Sanctuary Hills. 
Di Pietro Baker. These are people. Di Pietro. Totally high strung and needs to relax. I keep telling him that offering to offering to help, but so far no dice. By the by the looks of this guy, he's self medicating with pie. Baker, my favorite tin foil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven ampules of day tripper a week. Guess he's a uh, one a day kind of guy. Whatever helps the man groove. Um, Rosa. Still trying to get her some buff out. Didn't expect the rationing to affect this, but it's what it is. This guy's a drug dealer, but a very organized drug dealer. Jahani. He wants something called Psycho. I'm not sure if the stuff even exists. And if it does, do I really want this Neanderthal using it? Guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. I'll put some feelers out to my army connections. See where that goes. And Russell. They still owe me for that last XL delivery. Occurred to me... Uh, was it even for them? Because, help me God, if I find out they're juicing up those dogs, we're going to have words about more than money. We're probably beyond words anyway. I know they have a floor safe in there. I've seen it. Master bedroom under the dresser. Can't be that tough to crack. A safe under the dresser in a master bedroom? In Sanctuary Hills. All right, we got to look out for that. Concord. O'Keefe. Still good for a couple hits of daddy-o a week. Pretentious pseudo-intellectual asshole, but his money's good. Williams. Wants medics as much as I can get. Hasn't told me why. Not really my business. Guessing there's some sort of long-term pain management going on. Disease? Anders. Kids are usually a no-go, but this girl's got style, and she's not interested in getting tweaked. Ordered 20 blood packs. Some Halloween stunt or something. Alright, there are Halloween decorations around. Or hell, maybe she's just really a vampire. What do I care? She's got her daddy's money. Alright, then we've got Boston. Boston is Diamond City. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. Isaacs. Some student at CIT wants Day Tripper XL not, and an entire pallet. Yes, pallet of Mentats. Not sure if he's doing crazy experiments dealing to the other eggheads or on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Don't care as long as the money's good. Ward. Young married couple, good for a couple day trippers per week, easy order, cool people, no brainer. McDermott. Cop, long time buff out customer, running into supply problems. We've had a good thing for years, I'd hate it to end now, and I don't exactly want to risk him getting all the noble getting all noble and law abiding if he can't get what he wants. That would end very badly for me. And Sapolsky. The old lady has upped her daddy order, weird but profitable. And miscellaneous. Two people. Malcolm. Potential new customer in Charleston. Once Medex seems oddly desperate. Might be a cop trying too hard. Need to move slowly. Duchesne. Underwear model from Braintree. Beautiful, intelligent, totally weird. All she's ever wanted is stim packs. 10 plus per week. My imagination continues to run wild. Alright. So we've got this bomb on the side. Makeshift bomb. Can I just disarm it? Let's try. Spring added, cop added, nice. And we can lockpick this. There we go. That's it. Ammo, ammo, gold watch, pipe pistol, pre-war money. Very nice. All right, so that's this house done. Now, we'll, is this another? Scrapped house. Let's scrap that. Clear it out a bit. Okay, let's uh, yeah, just do a bit of cleanup while we go around here. Alright, now what's over here? This is the turret I put down earlier. What's this? A cooking station? Uh oh. <laughs> Okay. Unloaded a bit too many bullets there. Cooking station. Beverage roast soup utility. Ah. Nice. So we can actually... There's a lot of crafting, actually. Alright, let's check this house. Now, a roach did come out of here. Let's just be careful.
I don't see anything. Now we are looking for master bedroom dresses. We might have to backtrack a little bit. Um, but let's just check under the dresser here. This is the master bedroom. Here's the dresser. So let's... Hey, it's there! Lock tight. Ah, it's advanced. Alright, we might... We might level lockpicking after this. I think lockpicking is something that I'd like to, to do. Alright, so... We've searched uh, those houses. Uh, there's a few more over on this side, I think. So let's let's go check those out. I should also talk to everyone. Actually. I just want to trade a few things. Trade a few things. Take store. Oh, it's not actually trading. I because these people live in my settlement. I guess I can just put stuff on them. I guess. Okay. Sure. Let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, since I'm here, let's talk to people. They seem to be hanging out in my place. Hello, Jun Long. I just need to trade gear with you. No? Okay. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss him so much. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, how about you? Mama Murphy. Mama Murphy. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. My energy? My energy? What do you mean? Thought I told you before, kid. I saw you leave that icebox. I know your pain. This world, it's not yours. But here you are. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Some jet? What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. I actually really like that. They, they explained what the drug does. Um, I, I, because I was playing Fallout 2 and they don't really explain what the drugs do. And it's hard to, to figure out how to use these drugs. Alright, oh, but I have some on me. Here you go. Take the drugs. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now. Let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... It's... So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart that's lit up against the dark alleys. Okay. Um... That's gonna be like a neon heart sign, right? Because... And it's gonna be some kind of brothel, I'm guessing. But okay, when we get to Diamond City, we gotta look for a glowing, shiny, bright heart. But for now, I'm still looting Sanctuary. Doesn't seem to be too much left. This is one of the houses where we sort of dealt with the bloat flies. I don't see anything of value. A plastic pumpkin. Hey, there's another safe. There we go. Sweet. Ammo, ammo, gun, money, silver fork. That works. Alright. Any more houses? I think there's... Did I loot that? I think I started with that house. Okay, so I've looted all the houses. So, um... I want to talk to a couple more people. I talked to... Who is that? That's Mama Murphy? Okay, that's Mama Murphy. Let's, uh... Haven't talked to you yet. What's your name again? Sturgis. Hey, Sturgis. You willing to do some work? Some work? What do you need? 
What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Okay. Sure. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Ah. There is actually a quest to do sanctuary stuff. Um, data quest. Let's let's work on sanctuary. C currently, we're we're supposed to go to the jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, which looks like it's Boston. I guess it's Boston, but we're gonna work on sanctuary for now. Build sheltered beds. Okay, I guess we can go into any of these remaining houses. Not my house. And we'll place down some beds. Let's see, let's bring up the, the build menu. Um, it'll be furniture. We might have to clear out the old bed first. Um, how do I scrap this? Scrap that. Furniture, beds. And what kind of beds do we have? Hmm. You know, personally, I don't like beds which have that that foot bar there because I'm 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 kind of tall myself. I'm over six feet tall, and beds tend to not fit me, so those bars get in the way. But it seems like we're sort of stuck here unless we go for a futon approach. So I'm just gonna go for the cleanest looking one. Let's place this down here. Oh, and I just noticed that okay, those resources on the top. It's showing that we're short on some of these things. Okay. So let's put down a bed. Is it this room? This room. Let's uh, scrap this. And put down a bed here. So that's two beds. I think there's uh, one, two, three, four of them. I think we got to build four beds. All right, we can put a bed in my workshop as well. It might be handy to to have this here. That's the bathroom. I don't know there's, there's actually not a lot of space in this house. I don't know where the bed used to be. Let's just go to this house. It requires steel and cloth. We've got plenty of that. All right, now here. Grab that. And how do you rotate things? Um, mouse wheel? No, mouse wheel changes its distance. Right click? Ah, right click. Here we go. So that's three beds. It says 60%, so we need two more. These two houses should do. Let's scrap that. Bring up the bed again. We'll put it here. And one more bed should do. So let's clear this out. And the final bed. There we go. Let's, uh,. Let's head back. All right, now let's go back to Sturges. Where is he? He's round the back. Hey, Sturges, built that Sturges. Uh, those beds. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> um, yeah, we need some clean water. I don't understand. Uh, what do you mean, clean water? Um, tell me more. I'm not sure what you mean. Like a well. He said that anyway. Then we don't have to keep drinking the river water. That stuff's not good for you. <laughs> okay. Now, we have um, resources. Water, concrete, steel, and gears. 
Okay, um, I guess we should put some water near these crops back here. It would make sense anyway. Um, where can this go? Here? Okay, so I built one that says 60%. Okay, so we gotta build a second one. I'll just build one right up front here. A sort of a, a public water source. Does that work? Water seems good. Talk to Sturgis again. Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. Okay, what kind of crops? What kind of crops are you looking for? Well, it doesn't much matter. Potatoes, mute fruit, corn, whatever you can get to grow. Let's pronounce mute fruit. I always pronounce it mutt fruit. Um, okay. That should be under resources again. Food? So we've got... Oh, okay, we need the actual food item. Carrot, corn, do I have anything? Gourd, I've got a gourd. Melon, mute fruit, razor grain, tato. Well, I have a gourd, so we can at least place that down. Um, okay, gourd removed. You must assign a worker to this object before it can begin producing resources. Okay. So, how do I do that? For most powered objects, you can run a wire directly to them. Some small objects like lights get power from a nearby power connector. A worker that is already assigned to produce food can work on multiple food producing objects up to a maximum of six food total. When you... okay... They'll automatically begin harvesting. Okay, so how do I command people? I look at them, command, and assign. This resource is now assigned. In the same way, workers assigned to defense producing objects will also assign themselves to new defense objects up to a maximum of six. Okay, and it keeps saying build something that requires power. Can I... Let, let's build a light for my workshop here. Power, power generators. Do I have enough of this? I do. So I'm gonna stick a power generator right here near my workshop. There we go. And let's build a light. Do I have enough for... I do have enough. Okay, good. I can build a fan. Let's build a light. A construction light? That would match the aesthetic. Um... Where can this go? I'm trying to place it just nicely here. Like that, maybe? There we go. Let's build that. Okay. Now... Ah, space attach wire. It requires one power. And this thing produces three power. Okay, let's... Uh... And this takes one copper, I think. There we go, we've got a light. Lighting up the center of our workshop. That's nice. Okay, good. We've done that quite nicely. Um, to continue the sanctuary quest, it seems like we need more food, I think. Now, where is Codsworth? I want to talk to him. I know I saw him walking around here earlier. Oh, I haven't talked to... what's his name anyway? <laughs> Preston Garvey. Hi. Hello. Hi. This place is really starting to come together. Oh, nothing to... okay, fine. I guess we could just clean this area up a little bit. Like these old stumps, we can scrap them, I guess. Make the place look a little bit more presentable. Is there anything... can we actually scrap these workbenches? 
Oh, we can. Okay, let's let's be careful not to do that. Um, a wooden crate. Actually, no. I like these these items here. It looks very rustic. A wooden crate. A wooden crate is great. Makes the place look nice. Uh, this shovel. I don't know if we're gonna need that. What's this? Tool racks. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave the tool racks there. This fallen one I could probably scrap. That oh, that's much cleaner. Wooden crate as a. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys have ever, ever done this. Uh, have you ever, like, um, used a, a box or a crate or something as a piece of furniture? I currently have a cardboard box as a coffee table. <laughs> not, even, not even kidding. It's a pretty steady one. I've been using it for like eight months now. It's still good. Cardboard box. It's uh, cheaper than buying a table anyway. Hmm. It's raining again. Um, Codsworth. I don't know where Codsworth is. I'd really like to find Codsworth. See if I can add him as a companion. I don't know where he hangs out, actually. I, I just saw him earlier. This is my house. Oh! <laughs> uh, this scared me. There's a skeleton on the window. I thought... I thought there was something there. Alright, well I can't find Codsworth right now, so I guess since we can't continue on Sanctuary, we're pretty much done with that. We've looted all the houses and uh, we've gotten things going. Um, how does this, this water thing work, actually? Can we... Drinking water restores health, drinking unpurified water causes radiation damage. Okay. And... Am I supposed hey. to talk to you? I've got a favor to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? Sure. Sure. Be glad to help. Thank you. Build Mama Murphy's chair in Sanctuary. Um, no, it's not that. It's, uh... Let's build a chair. And then we can probably bring this to a close. Let's furniture, chairs... What's the nicest chair I can build for Mama Murphy? Ooh, a nice old style chair like this would be good. Maybe a sofa? No, no, no. Old people like these kind of chairs. Yeah, this sort of thing. Um, where would you like this chair? I saw you sitting here earlier. So let's... Uh, We'll place it like this, I guess, so you can look out the window as well. And I've reached level 5! Um, let's tab out of this. <laughs> so, I managed to level up by just doing sanctuary stuff. Alright, and uh, I guess since we are actually uh, level 5, I'm gonna go level my lockpick here. Uh, Allows you to pick advanced locks. Gonna go for that. Enter for accept. Because locksmithing is something we'd like to do. And I can go ahead and go to that uh, safe that we missed out on. And then I can bring this episode to a close. And next time we're gonna go to Diamond City. But now, here it was. An advanced lock. Let's, uh... Here. Ooh. There we go. Got it. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Gold plated flip lighter pre war money shotgun shells. Very nice. Alright, so now it's the end of the day. I've done some quite nice work for Sanctuary here. And uh, well, we might build some defenses and stuff, but I think uh, that's enough for now. That's pretty much going to wrap up Sanctuary. And next we're going to go on to. Uh, uh, Jewel of the Commonwealth. Go to Diamond City. Uh, so we're gonna be heading out next time. So, alright, so, hope you enjoyed this sprucing up uh, sort of tutorial on um, sanctuary and settlements and stuff like that. Uh, I've been learning a lot and I might, I think I'll leave the power armor here for now because it takes fusion cells and stuff like that. Alright, 
But next time we're going to head on over to Diamond City and hopefully find the glowing heart that should lead me to my son. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.